Not a graphic designer? No problem. You can still create epic designs using CapCut's AI. Yes, you heard me correctly. If you have zero graphic design experience and still want to wow your customers with epic images, you've come to the right place. CapCut has a new AI design feature to help you craft amazing assets from scratch. I'm talking about Instagram story promos, product posters, event flyers, and even YouTube thumbnails that will help take your content to the next level. And just in time for Black Friday. But before we get into AI design, are you subscribed to CapCut's YouTube channel? We post a ton of tutorials and product updates, and I don't want you to miss a thing. Okay, now that you're subscribed, let's do some designing. To get into AI design, open your CapCut desktop app and click on AI design on the left. This is what you'll see when you open it. When I said that you can do absolutely anything with this tool, I meant it. Check out all these different asset options. The sky really is the limit here. Here at the top, you can type in your prompt or upload product images to get started. You even have some suggestions here to get the ball rolling. So let me show you an example coming from myself, someone with zero design experience. Trust me, if I can make a good product poster, anyone can. Let's say I'm opening my bakery this weekend, aptly called Bria's Bakery, and I want to create a promotional poster. So here's my prompt. Design a chic modern product poster featuring a blueberry muffin, a cinnamon roll, and a chocolate chip cookie in the foreground. Background, soft pink gradient with glowing light, fluffy elements, and a dreamy atmosphere. Add rainbow sprinkles scattered lightly for decoration. Typography? Add the headline text Bria's Bakery at the top center of the poster in large white bold font aligned in the center. Add grand opening near the bottom in smaller thin white font aligned in the center. Aspect ratio, three by four. Overall style is gonna be bright, feminine, and elegant. I'm being specific here because I have an idea of my brand look and feel and I wanna make sure my poster aligns with my vibe. Giving your AI graphic designer a detailed prompt will ensure that the output aligns with your vision. So you wanna include notes about the background color, any photo elements, the typography, the placement of things. Literally any detail you can provide will help you out here. Ideally, this one's gonna be girly with bolder elements, so I was really straightforward about that. Once I start the creation process, I move into a chat with my AI graphic design partner. This is where I can give notes on the design, request changes, and really fine tune it to my liking. So right now, it's processing my brief and reformatting it to be a bit more clear. Honestly, the AI's description of my poster is a lot more in depth and specific than mine, so I'm really excited to see what it comes up with. And here we go. In less than a minute, I have a full-fledged poster. This is so cute. From here, I can continue chatting with my little graphic design partner to make additional changes. One thing that I think would spice this up is changing the cinnamon roll element. I know, I'm being particular, but this cinnamon roll needs some icing. I'd also like to get rid of this little plate below the roll just so that it matches the other baked goods. Once I type this into the chat, my AI graphic design partner repeats my request back to me to ensure that we're aligned. If you ever feel like you wanna redo your edit, there's a little stop button down here. This will halt the redesign process so that you can type in a new prompt. And in less than a minute, I have my updated design. Perfection. But I want to fine tune things a little bit. For example, I think I want to swap the colors of my Bria's Bakery and grand opening texts. Let's select Bria's Bakery and then I can change that to white. And I will edit grand opening here as well. Within the elements editor, I can also move my images around and make a ton of changes to my text. I can even change the color scheme and add effects and filters. I can change the size or add my own elements. For example, if I had a picture of a real chocolate chip cookie that I baked, I could go ahead and add it to my design. We've got stickers here, shapes, arrows, frames for image assets. The possibilities are endless. This really is a one-stop shop for poster editing. Once your poster's to your liking, you can download it as a JPEG, PNG, or PDF. Just to show you some versatility here, let's change up the look and feel of Bria's Bakery. Maybe I don't wanna go fluffy and feminine anymore, right? Maybe I'm building a location near an elementary school and I wanna appeal more to kids and their parents. Why not, right? As a CapCut user, you get 10 free uses of AI design a day, so we can go a little crazy if we want to. This time, let's make an animated poster. By selecting this template, I immediately move into the chat and I can get more specific there. Now my prompt says, design a poster in the style of a Disney animated movie with the overall composition, colors, and decorative elements matching the look and feel of an official Disney animation poster. Add images of a cinnamon roll with white icing drizzled on top, a chocolate chip cookie, and and a blueberry muffin in the foreground. Decorative details, stars, fairy-like creatures, 
flowers and vines with a gradient blue and purple background color. Large headline text in white at the top that says Bria's Bakery with pink subtext that says Grand Opening. All text is aligned in the center. This design is so adorable. I'm obsessed. I think the only thing that it's missing now that I think about it is a place for me to link to the bakery's website in the center. So let's go ahead and add that. I also want the grand opening text to be a bit smaller and less bold so that it's not competing as much with Bria's Bakery. So I'm gonna instruct my AI graphic design partner accordingly. Okay, let's actually change the text color of the button's call to action. Perfect. Just like my last design, I can make specific changes to the Instagram story on my own as well. I can move the text around, change the alignment, the font, truly anything I can think of. There's also the AI tools section up here to help you make even more impactful changes. With the inpaint tool, you can select a certain area of your image and instruct your AI design partner to change it. I can also use AI to expand my image. So let's say I no longer wanted this to be nine by 16 and I need it to be 16 by nine for a YouTube thumbnail. This tool will automatically expand my background so that nothing is awkwardly cut off. The remove tool is another very useful way to remove unwanted elements. Let's actually take that extra fairy out of here. I can also raise the resolution of my image to make it more high quality. And when I'm ready to download the image, I can easily do that right here. One last thing I wanna show you is logo design. This is something that I consider to be pretty impossible to do myself. Again, not a graphic designer whatsoever over here. So let's use the logo template here on the homepage to craft a custom logo for Bria's Bakery. I'm thinking something feminine and fun that incorporates some aspect of the baking into it. Here's my prompt. Generate a fun feminine logo for Bria's Bakery. Incorporate some aspect of baked goods into the design. The color palette includes pinks, blacks, and whites. My AI designer is reiterating my request and it's very clear that we're on the same page, so I'm excited to see this one. And there we go, a perfect logo for my business. The new AI design tool is a game changer for small business owners and content creators. Even if you're just trying to craft an invitation for your birthday or a fancy menu for a dinner party, it's so useful. I know that I'm gonna be creating all kinds of fun designs and I hope that after this video, you feel ready to do the same. Let me know what kind of designs you have in mind in the comments. You might give me some new ideas. And of course, make sure you download the CapCut mobile and desktop apps so that you can use amazing tools like this and transform your content. I'll see you later, content creator. Bye.